Here's a really simple dish that you can put together using a red capsicum. What I'll do is I'll show you how to make a stuffing for it, then you can put it into the oven. Really easy, really tasty, and really good for you as well. The trick I like to start with is to take the seeds out of it and that little bit of membrane on the side there. You can leave it in if you want, but believe me, it's a lot better when you take it out. And once you've got it like that, and I leave that green part in there, because that'll help to hold it together. To make this stuffing, I'm gonna use some rice. I bought this rice from the supermarket. It's pre-cooked and really, really convenient. Now I'm gonna flavor it up with some onion. Some red onion is delicious, and I'll slice it nice and thin, so I get nice little chunks going all the way through it. When you slice it thin like this, it becomes really, really tasty and cooks quickly as well. In it goes. Make sure I get every single bit of it in there. Now we love some herbs and oregano is fantastic. This is fresh oregano, but you can use anything you like. I just tear it straight off the stem here like this and throw it into the bowl. Just break it up with your fingers and when it's young, fresh leaves like this, it breaks up really, really easily. Now tomatoes, I've cut them in half already, so in they go. And the thing about the tomatoes, when they cook, they'll soften up and give it some flavour and some juiciness as well. Zucchini is a great vegetable and I like to cut it into a small dice. That way it cooks fairly quickly but keeps its colour and its flavour and stays a little bit firm as well. So when it's cut like a small dice like this, it's really, really easy to do. But if you want, you could also grate it as well. Now grab that like that and pop it into the bowl. Now we want to make it nice and cheesy. So I've got some grated cheese here that I'll put in there and some goat's cheese as well. Sprinkle some of that through the mixture. Now to give it some protein and a lot of flavour, I'm using some canned tuna. This is great canned tuna because everything in the can goes into my bowl and that will make it nice and flavoursome. In there like that, this tuna has been infused with basil and tomato. And I'll just open another one because it's so delicious. In it goes like that. Open it up, really easy. And have a look at all that tomato on top there. That's gonna be nice and flavoursome and go all the way through the mixture. Spoon it out like this, and then all we need is a little pinch of salt in there, some extra virgin olive oil to make it even tastier, and some black pepper. A good twist of black pepper. Around we go like that, beautiful. And then it's just a matter of mixing it around a little bit to make sure everything is incorporated and mixed up nice and evenly. It looks great and smells great just like this. You know what, I could eat it just like this as a salad, but we've got to pop it into the oven. But before we do that, we stuff it into our peppers. I like to pick the peppers up and hold them over the bowl. That way, if any of the uh, mixture spills, it spills straight back into the bowl. Now, if you do want to make it even tastier, a little bit of cheese on top there like that and that will make it fantastic. Now all I need to do is pop this into the oven, 180 degrees Celsius. It'll take about 25 minutes to cook. Everything will be melted and delicious and smell fantastic. This is always the best part of the recipe. When you take out what you've cooked, pop it on a plate and tuck into it. They look great, don't they? Really simple and easy. And I'll just cut it in half so you can see what happens on the inside. It's like a big boat full of lovely flavour. The rice is in there, the tuna's in there, the cheese. Smells fantastic. That's really good.